Makoto Sensei, thank you so much for uh, joining our uh, Twin Cities uh, Buddhist Association's whole on call service today. Uh, I, um, me and then Furumoto Sensei, uh, we are uh, like a family friends uh, for for a long time. So Furumoto Sensei uh, became a kaikyoshi. Um, so he he studying uh, he the first uh, temple uh, he assigned uh, was a uh, Hiro Buddha in, in Hawaii. So he studied the Kaikyoshi career uh, uh, from Hawaii, and he came to Arizona 2001, and then uh, moved to the San Mateo Buddhist Temple 2009, and then uh, he is now uh, sensing the Buddhist Temple, which is uh, in uh, Los Angeles, the, uh, the from uh, 1213, and then uh, he graduated at uh, Ryukoku University, and he studied at the Gonshiki Shidosho, the special ritual, ritual uh, special training, uh, Honganji. And then also he went to uh, Hiroshima Bukkyo Gakuin, uh, and then Dendo in, and then uh, and after that, he studied a lot in Japan, and he came to uh, Hawaii and America. So. Um, he had uh, three children, almost at the same age as uh, my children. So the uh, last year in March, during the spring break, uh, when we went, to, we all went to the Los Angeles area. So Furumoto Sensei uh, taught uh, uh, surfing uh, to my children, uh, which is my children's first time to try the surfing. Uh, of course, you know my kids was born in and grew up in Minnesota. So, and then since then, um, you know, as a family, so we have been very close and I'm very happy uh, to, to see Furumoto Sensei joining uh, our, uh, our whole onko service today. So, arigatou gozaimasu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Are, are, I'm, 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 Good morning, Good morning thank you very thank much. You very much. Good Good morning. Morning. Thank you, thank for you for service. Ah, Now, 840 now, I just more I omit my you know introduction because Chemi Sensei introduced myself, so uh, more I will start talking. And I would like to use the uh, PowerPoint presentation. So now uh, I will use a share screen. あれ、どこ、あの、待ってください。I'm sorry。あの、<笑> sometimes I speak Japanese. It's speak Japanese to myself, so please disregard my my Japanese. はい。はい。Hi. Uh, today is uh Twin City Buddhist Sangha Hōonko. Twin City mo at Minnesota Buddhist Association, you, Chiemi uh, Sensei said some different name, maybe you change the name. My two, two minutes, minutes, you see, today, Hōon uh, Kō service, Shinran Shonin's, our founder's death day memorial. And today, I want to talk about discrimination, but more about stereotyping. We kind of all have the this stereotyping mind. And the stereotyping or discrimination is kind of related, you know. So, well, we have a possibility to make discrimination against others. So we should be careful. That kind of talk I want to uh, talk today. And uh, also this bo word bomb, it is Japanese, but this means ordinary being and foolish being. And to understand the Jodo Shinshu teaching to know about what is bombu and I am bombu. This uh, uh, thought is very important. And uh, this word bakatare, bakatare is Japanese word. I will explain later. But uh, basically, simply today's message, let's respect each other. Hi. Well, if you listen to more, well, you can leave today. But if you want to listen to my talk, please stay. はい、お願いします。はい、行きましょう。I uh, have never been to Minnesota. This is what I know about Minnesota. 
Uh, but I heard Minnesota is a really beautiful place. And, and most of people I met in, from Minnesota, really nice people. So I think uh, Minnesota people, everybody nice. And this is kind of stereotyping, but in a sense, good to stereotyping. Right? Uh, but uh, now, uh, what I know is the uh, here, uh, first impression of Minnesota is mosquito. When I was a junior high school student, uh, you know, American uh, teachers, English teacher came to my class and told me, the, uh, told us uh, English. And she was from the Minnesota. And uh, she, you know, talked about Minnesota and she said that the, in Minnesota, there are a lot of lakes and there are tons of mosquitoes. So that, so that kind of image, uh, I mean, impression I have to, to Minnesota. And uh, some senseis, Machiemi sensei, Machiemi sensei are living in Minnesota, but Henry sensei, David Matsumo sensei, and Tato Tsuchiya sensei were writing. Many, not a few senseis from Minnesota. So Minnesota, I have a good impression. These good, great senseis. And also the my purple rains. I think I, Prince was from Minnesota, I think. ね? And maybe, like, ね, Henry Sensei, he told me his friend was a uh, nephew of Bob Dylan. ね? So, like, some, not only senses, but some famous singers from Minnesota. ね? And recently, uh, there were, was a you know, big movement from a few years ago, a Black Lives Matter BLM movement, but kind of came, you know, coming from this uh, Minnesota. So today, a little bit to talk about the uh, about this discrimination and the uh, well, most of the stereo stereotyping. Uh, a few days ago, I happened to watch a YouTube video, and it was talking about the uh, racism or kind of discrimination. And in the video, the someone said. I have never made discrimination. I don't have any discrimination mind, discriminated mind. Discri I have never made discrimination. Then I thought uh, some people think like that, but uh, in our Jodo Shinju teaching, we our kind of th our thinking is we may make discrimination. Yeah. So we have to be care for, yeah. and uh, we try to uh, respect all the other people. Yeah. Uh, then my uh, here, uh, we may not do make a discrimination, but we often do stereotyping, I believe. Yeah. The stereotype uh, is a, uh, here is explanation, well, this definition. Stereotypes are characteristics that society instinctively attributes to groups of so, to quantify, quantify in, 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 weight, weight, occupation, occupation skin, skin color, color, gender, gender etc. Et and sexual stereotyping involves associating girls and boys with separate and time opposing sets uh, of characteristics. Uh, my, this is a stereotype, but my, 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 なんでなんでやろえ、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの
So my Buddhism is a teaching how to awaken to the equality of all beings. And the Shinran Shon is focusing the point is too. Everybody's attainment to Nirvana, equally attain Nirvana. So equality of all beings is a kind of point of our Jyoto Shinshu teachings. So basically, no discrimination is our attitude. However, when we reflect on, on our working of our mind or daily life thinking, it may be difficult to say, I do not have a mind of discrimination. That more or less, we may have the mind of the discrimination by gender, race, age, nationality, we label people and we also decide this person good, this person bad, harmful or beneficial. From our ego view, we decide. And uh, we have a bias and we tend to stereotyping and it may develop to the uh, discrimination. But this is the habit of uh, human beings or the uh, working brain. But in Jodo Shinshu, because we say, because we are Bombu, ordinary being or foolish being. So therefore, uh, we may have a possibility to do make to make discrimination. Then this is the what Shina Shoni stated. What is bombu? A bombu English uh, translation is ordinary being or foolish being or unenlightened being. So I put D. Hi. Or uh, new translations. Trouble the person, <laughs> give trouble to other people. Uh, so Shin Nashoni wrote like this: foolish beings, this is a bombu, as expressed in the parable of two rivers of water and fire. At this point, we are full of ignorance and blind passion. Our desires are countless, and anger, wrath, jealousy, and envy are overwhelming, arising without pause. So but this. Uh, full of ignorance and blind passion. This is uh, uh, called bonno, B-O-N-N-O -N -N uh, in Japanese. Bonno, bonno is uh, passions from our ego. From our ego, many passions comes out. The one of them are the anger, wrath, jealousy, and envy. Uh, so, but we always have the possibility to get angry or have wrath, jealous, and envy. We are not always get angry, we, no, but we always hold the possibility to get angry, like magma erupts. Uh, so it comes, it comes out anytime. Then discrimination too. We always have a possibility to make discrimination, but if we are careful about it, we try not to make discrimination. Like if we think we may have a virus, a COVID, COVID virus, we put on mask and try not to give the virus to others. But uh, without noticing, due to the lack of our knowledge, we may offend other people and some people may feel it is a discrimination. Then I remembered I did such a mistake. I did a stereotyping and I offended an African American woman. It was 17 or 18 years ago. I was a minister for the Arizona Buddhist Temple. Today I heard Sandy Olendes son came, but when I was there, uh, Sandra Olendes son was there. And uh, right around that time, and I, uh, this, uh, is, this thing happened. I was in Arizona and I was asked to give a talk. Uh, I was invited, I mean, I'm invited to give a talk about Buddhism uh, to the uh, senior citizens, the senior people. Uh, so I got a phone call from a facility uh, it was a really luxury senior facility, rich, rich people's facility. Uh, my friend's relative was uh, living there. 
and uh, this uh, lady was a European American uh, lady, and then she my she's maybe around seventy or eighty years old. Uh, maybe her name I forgot her name, but maybe her name was Francis something Francis Sun. Then my Francis Sun asked me. My, she gave me a phone call and she asked me to come to her facility to give a lecture about Buddhism. Then my, I went. Then that this facility looked like a hotel, really. Uh, gorgeous, the big entrance, nice carpet, really beautiful. Uh, then uh, she welcomed, 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 welcomed me and she told me to come for lunch. Then at the my dining place or cafeteria, uh, she you know, introduced me to her friend. Uh, this her friend, French son's friend was a an African American lady. Uh, she was uh, also the resident, and my, so maybe she was same age with the Francis Sam, and she dressed really nicely. She put on a really beautiful dress, like uh, in the picture, a uh, vivid color pink, a pink color dress, and the uh, fabric was a silk kind and shining, and she put on really dressy hat uh, that was also pink. So I saw such dress and hat for the First time, real one. I saw such attire before in the movie. Uh, a female African American was a uh, was singing a jazz or blues. So then I greeted to her and uh, nice to meet you, and we have uh, some conversation. And uh, uh, then at, in the, when we are talking, something I very much impressed her attire. So I told her the your attire really nice and very beautiful and are you jazz are you a jazz singer i asked i don't have any thought how she felt but after i asked asked her she changed her face and she looked a little upset and she told me it was stereotyping all african americans are not jazz singers. Then the Francis son told me she was a professor at the university in Georgia. Then at that time, I again thought, I surprised, a professor wears such a gorgeous dress. In Japan, in those days, professors were not so, you know, uh, no fashionable they were kind of very conservative fashion so uh, i very much surprised but uh, i did not say it because uh, if i say it this you know, african american lady said that is also stereotyping <laughs> so therefore i you know close my mouth but i apologize to her about my you know, stereotyping to her and my she forgave me then Later, after we ate lunch, she came to the lecture and she looked to enjoy my lecture. But uh, later, I found uh, for some African American ladies, uh, when they go to church or religious, you know, gatherings, uh, they dress up uh, when they go to church or that kind of, you know, gathering. And uh, she came to the my lecture, so she kind of very much paid paid respect to me because I'm a Buddhist minister. So she dressed up and she attended to the my lecture. So I felt really bad to her, really sorry to her. So when I remember it, uh, I still feel very embarrassed and very much feel sorry to her. So without noticing, I do stereotyping and for some people, they feel they're offended. Then in Japanese, there is a word bakatare. Uh, baka means foolish. Tare means drip. Without noticing, foolishness goes out, comes out. It's like a water faucet dripping. Even though we shut the faucet, sometimes it dripped our foolishness comes out. Or like saliva, uh, mouth watering. Uh, when we are sleeping, saliva comes out. 
ね、it is called in Japanese yodare. Tare、えー、means dripping or come out without noticing.、ね、so, like that, foolishness comes out without noticing, and we sometimes、uh, offend others. We think I don't make discrimination. However, without noticing, we may make discrimination. So, but、uh, when we find, find it, we reflect on our mind and we pay respect to others. That is important. Like if we are drooling in a classroom, it is really embarrassing. So, like that, if we find it, we stop drooling and we,、uh, we reflect on our mind and we pay respect to other people. この診断承認、in、単二章、he stated, Amida's primal vow does not discriminate between young and old, good and evil. True and trusting alone is essential. So, all are embraced in Amida Buddha's compassion and wisdom, and all are equal from the Buddha's view. And the only way we bombu can be free from our bonno is this Amida Buddha's primal vow and Amida's vow power.、Uh, we recite Nembutsu with entrusting to Amida Buddha. So, our human's bombu view is. Really limited. Then, in Buddhism's sense,、uh, we are called ignorant、ね、and foolish beings. So, therefore, the、ね、stupidity naturally comes out. However, because of it, Amida Buddha established the vow, and we receive Buddha's vow power,、uh, enabling us to be born to pure land. And the,、ね uh, when we receive the, this Buddha's vow power, It gives us the、uh, wisdom to reflect on our you know,、uh, working of our mind. Sometimes、uh, the stereotyping mind comes out, sometimes it may become the discrimination. So we be careful and we pay respect to the all the other people.、ね、and we can contribute to make a better society. Hi, thank you very much for listening. There are I would like to read the Shonin i c h i r y u s h o in conclusions. Shonin i c h i r y u no gokanke no momuki wa shinjin no motte honto serare solo. Sono yue wa moro moro no zogyo wo nage stete ishin ni mida ni kimi o sreba. 不可思議の眼力通して、仏の偏り往生は事情をせしめたもう。そのくらいを一年ぽっき入賞状四十とも釈うし、その上の正明念仏た、如来我が往生を定めたまいし、御恩法人の念仏と心をべきなり、あなかしこ、アナカシコ、ナンマンダブツ、ナンマンダブツ、ナンマンダブツ、ナンマンダブツ。